have significant challenges ahead of us as a nation uh, from the standpoint of our economy, our economic competitiveness, uh, energy and the environment present significant challenges to us. Those, the solutions to those challenges are going to be provided by scientists and engineers in the future and it's their creativity and their innovative ability that are going to deliver the solutions to those daunting challenges. If we fail to do that as a nation, then our competitiveness globally is going to decline and other nations are going to overtake us in terms of innovation and creativity. What's happened in the last uh, 10 to 15 years is that we seem to have fewer and fewer people going into the sciences, uh, both in high school and college and graduate level. Uh, the effect is that our industry is finding itself having a great deal of difficulty filling the critical jobs in, in basic sciences. Career exploring do a couple of things. One is it can give somebody an idea of the wide range of possibilities. I think the other thing that, that exploring can do is it can give you a chance to really try out things and have an idea of what it might be like to actually follow a career in one of these areas. Well, I have had the opportunity to uh, interact with some of our um, exploring uh, participants you know, here at uh, the, the, Glenn, the NASA Glenn Research Center. And I have um, gone over and actually participated in one or two of the activities. And we bring the students here and we let them get hands-on experience in a real uh, work environment. Uh, what the Learning for Life program can offer NASA in a partnership is to strengthen the knowledge of our youth in America and help lead them into careers for science. Science Careers uh, program, I think, uh, is essential for allowing us a way to talk to the youth of America, to, to let them know that these kind of jobs are things that are enjoyable, uh, that they're something that they can do and have a great career. Uh, they can use their imagination. Their experiences in a, a science career program or a science explorer program will give them an opportunity to work with those people that have been successful in the fields of technology, in the fields of science. This is a, basically a hands-on approach to uh, tackling a problem that uh, is uh, pretty germane to the young student. We have an emphasis on replacing the people who are going to be retiring, myself included, in the not too distant future. We need to replace those people, we need to keep our leadership uh, by having new people coming into these positions and through things like the Science Careers Learning, uh, that's a great avenue to reach the students that we really want to reach and get them in. Science-related organizations such as the Learning for Life is very much in line with what NASA is looking for to promote and, and carry on into our future. I think it's a wonderful opportunity for youth. I think it's a great opportunity for the community. I like the idea of creating a safe environment that youth and community can work together to build a better America. Our competitors are graduating large numbers of scientists and engineers. And um, if they're the ones who are developing the new products, if our competitors are the ones who are coming up with the new innovations, then that means that they lead the global economy. And, and so that you know, could impact our national security as well as our standard of living. I think after school programs like exploring do a great job. I think the key is that to really build an excitement for science, you've got to not hear about it but actually do it. And I think that's where science exploring really comes through. Mm -hmm.